Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to show you all the makeup I used up in 2017. But first, the mascara. I'm just gonna show you these and say there's way too many to go through and show you individually which ones I've used up. There's some primers, there's a ton of mascaras. I don't waste time on bad mascara. But I do use, I have three or four open at any one time. This is just ridiculous. <laughs> I, I swear I don't, I'm not wasteful when it comes to mascara, but it happens. I'll have the total number that I use up in the description box because, I mean, mascara, I don't know. I feel like with mascara, it's real personal and there are some that I like better than others, but it's not, um worth me going through telling showing you each one and talking about it or whatever so let's just start out real quick with the setting sprays i used up two of these urban decay all-nighter travel size setting sprays or, or you know mini ones really enjoy this stuff definitely would purchase it in the future use the makeup forever miss and fix um makeup setting spray like this um i feel like it gives you more of a do or a glow so I don't necessarily uh, think I'll purchase this, although I feel like it works really well. Um, my skin's combo oily, so I don't really have a need for that. As far as primers, I used up uh, the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. I love this, but you have to work it into your skin for the magic to happen. Uh, this is the Becca backlight priming filter really love this in the summertime for some reason and enjoyed it i wouldn't purchase a full size but i do enjoy using those samples the makeup forever nourishing primer i like this it's a lot like the mark jacobs coconut perfecting primer more like a um, it's moisturizing kind of like a moisturizer primer type deal um mac prep and prime skin base this is okay I'll use it if I get a sample, but I wouldn't buy the full size. Here is some, let's do the small uh, foundations first. Two of the MD Solar Sciences Mineral Beauty Balm SPF 50 in light to medium. I really like this in, in the summer when I'm just want to throw something on that doesn't have a lot of coverage, but it has the sunscreen, all that jazz. I enjoy that. I don't know that I would purchase the full size. Uh, the Dr. Jar BB Beauty Balm SPF 45. This one I do like, but it's too light and too pink for my skin tone. So I like using it as a mixer. The Estee Lauder uh, BB Double Wear All Day Glow. This was too glowy for my skin. I went and buy it. The Estee Lauder Double Wear Light in Intensity 2.0. Really like this. Really, really enjoyed this. But I do feel like the, um, what is it? The CoverGirl Matte BB Cream is a dupe for this. So no need spending this much money on a foundation. And then I have three of the Lancome Tinted All Ultra Wear, Ultra Wear Makeup Sticks. I completely destroyed these. I love a good stick foundation. For years and years, I used the Max Factor Stick Foundation when Max Factor was sold in the U.S. So, I really love this. I dig it out. There's a good half inch worth of product left in there. Absolutely love this. I have at least three more in my stash. I used, a, let's see, 210 Buff Neutral. 340 bisque neutral and 260 bisque neutral. 260 is what would match me right now. Okay, for powder, I used up one of these small sizes of the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. Love this. I have purchased the full size. It's an under eye setting powder. If you have a hard time finding one that you can use under your eyes, because most of them will make you look old and crepey. Try this one, it's expensive, but it's definitely worth it. The Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I really like this too, but not for my under eyes. 
For the rest of my face, it works just fine. The Smashbox Photo Filter Powder Foundation in the shade two. This is busted. I love this. I used every bit of it, enjoy it immensely, and I have repurchased. That was the second one I went through and I have another one. For concealers, I used the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination in the shade medium. I actually really like this, surprisingly enough. It's, it's thick, but you warm it up with your fingers, you just use a little, you pat it in, and I feel like it fills in your fine lines. Doesn't really crease on me at all. The Sephora Bright Future Gel Serum Concealer. I really enjoyed this. This is a great dupe for the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is in the shade 06. And then let's do these eye primers. I have the Benefit Air Patrol BB. I like that this has SPF, but I wouldn't repurchase. It's not all that great. Back on frizz, frizz, frizz. Okay. And then I have the NARS Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. If you had this and you like it, you can remove the stopper easily and there's a lot of products left in it. However, I wouldn't repurchase this. I do have a full size, but I wouldn't buy it again. Um, the Tarte, they have discontinued this. The 360 Creaseless Clean Slate Primer. I used like three-fourths of this. But it's, it doesn't work anymore for me. I guess since Tarte's a more natural brand or whatever, it just quit working. I totally dig the Urban Decay Eden Eye Primer. That's my favorite. As far as eyeliners, I have a Marc Jacobs uh, Nudist little skinny eyeliner. I really like this. This is a really great formula um, for the waterline if you're a nude in the waterline type person. Then I have a full size of the Marc Jacobs eyeliner in um, Earthquake. If I can get it open. I love these, but if you buy Marc Jacobs eyeliners, you need to use them post haste because they do tend to dry up. I do like this. And then I have an Avon Extra Lasting Eyeshadow Stick in Amethyst. This was a dupe for the Laura Mercier Eyeshadow Stick in Amethyst. Love this. They don't make these anymore, unfortunately, but glad to have it used up. For brows, I was really surprised how many brow products I went through. I have the ColourPop Brow Pencil in Dope Taupe. I really, I really enjoyed this. Worked just fine. Really good price. I would get it. I would buy it again. Then I have the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in Brunette. Really, really love this too. I feel like this is a 100% dupe to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in Medium Brown. 100% dupe in my opinion. Love that. I'd buy it again. And then I have the Marc Jacobs Brow Pencil in Ash Brown. I really, I like this too, but the Ash Brown color was really too light for me. But this is a really good formula. It's more of a dry formula. It's it's nice. Probably wouldn't buy it again though. And then I have the Too Faced Brow Quickie. It was like one of those brow things, kind of like the Benefit Gimme Brow. This one, I liked it really well. It worked good. Uh, I don't have anything bad to say about it. It's in Universal Taupe. I would buy it again. Then I have the Essence Make Me Brow in uh, soft brownie brows. This is another tinted brow thing. I like it, enjoy using it. I'd buy it again. And then I have a Benefit Gimme Brow. Same thing, like it, enjoy using it. I'd buy it again. Um, it then this, okay. Benefit shit the bed with this product. They market it all wrong. The Benefit Bravo Conditioning Primer, like the brow primer, do not use this as a brow primer. If you like it that way, fine, use it that way. But use this as a part of your skincare and just run it through your brows every night, end of your skincare, go to bed, wake up, keep doing it, and you will notice your brow hairs will grow 
like a beast. I'm telling you what. I have brow hairs all the way down here. Those are my natural brow hairs. All the way down here on both sides. I have to pluck a couple times a week. The brow hair is outrageous. And this is the only product that I've been using that does that. It's crazy. I don't know what's in it, but it grew my brows. And then I have a lash enhancer, the Lash Food, lash food Eyelash eyelash enhancer this product I got in a kit a Sephora favorites and it made me fall in love with lash enhancers this lash food brand is super expensive I have since purchased the rapid lash which is a whole lot cheaper any kind of lash um, serum that I have used I've used like three different kinds now that all work just the same in my book my lashes these are my lashes. I don't wear false eyelashes. And they are just, psh, come on. Check out my Instagram if you want to see up close photos of me. My lashes are rid redonkulous. I'm just saying. Toot toot my own horn. I've got good lashes. So, anyway. And, that, and it's just because I've been using serums. It's really made a difference. For lips, I use the Clarins Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil. This is such good stuff, you guys. I mean, highly recommend. If you buy anything, buy the Lip Comfort Oil. It's so nice. And it, um, I bought the full size in honey. It doesn't, uh, put it on before bed. You wake up, your lips are soft and luscious. It's not sticky. It's not too, it's heavy enough without being too heavy. I just love it. Then I have the Too Faced Sweet Peach and Pure Peach little thing, little lipple. I really like the way this smelt and felt. I wouldn't buy the full size, but I do really like that product. The Jack Black Lip Balm and Natural Mint and Shea Butter. Love this stuff. I have more on the go. It's really great. And then I have the Dior Lip Balm Revitalizer, whatever, whatever. <coughs> My voice is going. This, you put it on your lips and it changes in pinkness. I love the way this feels. It feels so good going on the lips. But I want to keep putting it on because it feels so good. But if I put more than one layer on, I get like really hot pink lips. If I put one layer on, it just kind of brightens my own lip color. I like this, but I wish... They have more shades of this now. I wish it didn't just keep on getting pinker and pinker. I think I'm gonna have to try one of the different shades because I really like that. And then I have the Tarte Tartiste Later Gram Lip Liner. I used it up, but I didn't really enjoy it. I thought it was kind of dry. That is it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and just subscribe, describe. Subscribe if you want to. I love you guys. I appreciate you so very much and I will see you real soon. Bye.